Hello, and thank you so much. It is really exciting to be a part of this work that the Southern AIDS Coalition is doing to actually bring our conversations forward on our communities. It is very clear under the helm of Justine Ingram, we have seen so much good work and we will continue to celebrate despite some of the different things going on in our community. We are proud here in District 58 to actually have created the state commending resolution acknowledging Transgender Day of Remembrance for the first time in the state of Georgia. I'm actually going to stand up right now and officially sign it and make sure that this gets on its way to your beautiful organization. I want to explain how we continue in our office to use all of our talents to actually speak to our communities. As a person who speaks Spanish, I am so passionate about the Latinx community. And so today with us, we have Estrella Sanchez. She is the Civic Engagement and Migration Affairs Liaison for our office here in District 58. Thank you so much for being with us, Estrella. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for this invitation. Gracias uh, 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 por esta invitación. Qué bueno. Y lo que queremos hablar sobre es el tema del Día de Remembrance. Ahorita tenemos que pensar en los pensamientos de las, las personas que nos aman y las personas que nos ayuden de hacer cosas buenas en la comunidad. Y por eso, ¿qué quiere decir tú, Estrella, sobre ese día importante? Gracias a, a, a Tidor, este, que, pues, hay, que están reconociendo que también hubo personas latinas que fallecieron o que fueron asesinadas en este año. Este... Uh, podemos, podemos decir de un asesinato sistemático, podríamos decir de un asesinato este, ocasionado, pero también este, como vimos durante esta pandemia, ¿verdad? So, también esa es una manera de, de asesinato hacia nuestra comunidad. Y hubo mucha gente, muchas de la comunidad translatina que también fallecieron, mayoría de ellos en Nueva York. Y por qué no decir también de las compañeras trans que fueron asesinadas en Puerto Rico, sobre todo, este, en Chicago y en California, lugares o seres donde hay más población latinoamericana. Entonces, es importante recordarles este momento. Yes, it is important to these moments around all of the cities around the United States. We stand in solidarity with Chicago, Los Angeles, New York City, you name it. We will continue to speak up for Transgender Day of Remembrance in the state of Georgia, which is why I am so glad that Jennifer Barnes Balenciaga has helped us realize what happens in New York, what happens in Atlanta, it's all connected to the community as our LGBTQ liaison. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Well, I want to make sure that we understand I'd be remiss if we didn't mention this year, we had a, a bunch of great and severe losses to our community. Uh, one of the greatest among that would be the trailblazer, Monica Roberts. Of course, without her, we wouldn't have uh, any of the contributions that led to us being able to even log or find and, and, and catalog the losses of our Black trans persons. Um, so if we could take a moment of silence, I greatly appreciate us to do that. Thank you. So now I'm excited that we've had so many discussions, uh, me and you, state representative, about uh, the work that we're planning on doing next year and the legislation that we're pushing forward and some of the ideals that we're trying to move into normalcy for the city and the state, the city of Atlanta, state of Georgia, uh, and abroad. So, you know, I'm really excited. Yeah, and now is the time, so continue to watch us. Thank you so much, you know, for helping us to bridge our communities together and to say this is how we will bring 
hate crime legislation to Georgia. This is how we will stop the trans panic defense. This is how we will get uh, fairness and equality in housing and in employment. And in a state, you know, Georgia's transgender population is the fourth highest in the United States. So in a state where the last Supreme Court case decided by Ruth Bader Ginsburg was the Clayton County versus Bostock case, which was about transgender employment discrimination in the county of Clayton, which is right here in Atlanta with the world's busiest airport. There is so much for us to do. So stay tuned with us, follow us online, and we will see you soon.